Department of Lapenta. This is WICR. Hello, everyone. I'm your host with the most, Jersey Joe, and this is not the sports fault. Very rare that I come on the air and I talk something other than sports, but the last couple of weeks, I mean, the movie American Sniper has just been full front in all pages of the media, and unfortunately, we've had just some very negative comments about what I consider and what everyone should be consider a true American hero in Chris Kyle, and I, it just really bothers me that we have people out there like Michael Moore and Seth Rogen, who really, I mean, you don't have to read too much into their comments to see that they're pretty much labeling this this hero uh, a coward. And, I mean, Michael Moore, I mean, we all know the, the tweet he sent out. I don't need to say it for him. He said, snipers are cowards. I don't even want to say the other things he said. But quite frankly, it's embarrassing. It really is that we would go after a person who is responsible for letting thousands of American soldiers come come back to see their families again. A sniper is, uh, being a coward is just something that makes no sense. I mean, uh, just th the fact that you would even think to put that out there on social media when you're a public figure like that just sh shows such a lack of self-awareness and just a lack of intelligence by any standard. I mean, Michael Moore, I've never been a f I've never seen his movies. I've really never had an interest in doing so, and by f any stretch, I will never do it now. But I mean, just Seth Rogen and, and then Michael Moore. I mean, you just just think about the kind of things that a guy like Chris Kyle had to do. I mean, this is a Navy SEAL who was responsible for hitting over 160 targets. And we're not, we're not even sure if that's the total. But, I mean, just I never understand why you attack American military servicemen. I don't care if you're in the Navy, if you're in the Air Force, if you're in the Marines. It doesn't matter what branch you're in. If you serve the United States in any way, you're a hero. I don't care if you're a medal, if you're a medic, if you cook food for soldiers, if you're on the ground, if you're flying over a plane. If you serve the military in any capacity, you do more than anyone else can do in a single day. You put your life on the line. And just to go after people like that is just so irresponsible and so just awful. And it just it makes me very, very upset. I know it makes a lot of other people, too. Because Chris Kyle is a hero. He is the least, the deadliest sniper in American history. He's responsible for saving countless lives. And as soon as I started seeing things like that, it brings me back to the Vietnam War. And I'll never forget, uh, the History Channel a couple of years ago came out with this series called Vietnam in HD. E extraordinarily well done. I mean, just amazing how they brought this footage and they upgraded it to HD just the amount of footage they had from this time period was just amazing but the one thing from that series I never forgot was they had real veterans who served in the world of course their real life stories in the in the uh, documentary and there was one soldier and I never forget when he said when he came back from Vietnam he was just filled with joy I mean he'd been there for a long time he's back he's expecting I mean to be celebrated as a hero because that's what he was he'd done so much good for his country serving in Vietnam like he was asked to and then when he comes back just the insults people swirled at him blaming him for all these horrible things calling him these horrible names throwing things at him it was just one of the and just the tears coming down his eyes he said he'd never been so embarrassed in his life and that's just something that and that's one of the lowest points in american history when our citizens went after the soldiers who were fighting for us now, I think part of Michael Moore directing this at him is part of his aggression is, I mean, because we all understand the Iraq War is one of the most controversial conflicts we've ever been involved in, but it's not the soldiers to send this message after. A soldier does what he's told. You go after the politicians who are responsible for the war. The soldier is not the one who decided to go into this war. They were told that American lives on the home front are in jeopardy. You need to go over here and you need to protect our freedom. And that's what they did. That's what Chris Kyle did. And that's what thousands of other, other American soldiers did and died for. And I just think going after and just, again, calling a guy like this who is a hero, one of our greatest soldiers in the history of our proud military, is just an abomination. And, and I just think, Michael Moore, if you're a rational thinking person, you should just turn your eye to him because he's just a person who's just 
a nobody. He really is. I mean, in the words of Colin Coward, just take an ice pick and stab it in the retina. Really, I mean, Michael Moore. I mean, it just... I just, it drove me crazy. I really had to come on the air to talk about this because I just think I don't see why you would ever have a need to or ever rationally think that American servicemen and women are the ones who need to be just attacked verbally or in any way. This is just complete garbage. Go after the politicians. Leave the soldiers out of it. A soldier is just everything that's right about our country. I mean, just look back at our rich history. We have nothing if it isn't for the just generations of soldiers. It doesn't matter if you go back to Bunker Hill in the Revolutionary War, the Battle of Gettysburg in the Civil War, D-Day in World War II. Every conflict, every soldier who's ever risked his life for this country is a hero. And to think anything else is just... Yeah, you're you're an idiot if you think of anything else. Seth Rogen, and then you look at Michael Moore, just complete idiots. I mean, I just I haven't even seen the movie American Sniper yet. I really want to. I mean, because everything you hear from rational thinking people is it's an excellent movie. It does a very good job at really putting it out there of the struggles of an American soldier, and I think it's something that really needs to come into the limelight because. Look, we all understand, I mean, I think sometimes in me being a sports guy, we put all of our attention into things that aren't as important. I mean, we all we do is we go on the media, on the on the airwaves, on TV and we just we talk about sports and these athletes and we kind of put them on a hero's pedestal, which is not right. I mean, they're incredibly fun to watch. They provide us with something that's fun. But they're not heroes. Heroes are people like Chris Kyle who are doing real life things where their real lives are in danger and they don't ask for anything in return. Chris Kyle is just a guy who knew what he had to do. He knew he had to protect his brothers in the United States military and he did that. It's a shame that he's not with us today because I'm not sure if Michael uh, Moore would have had the guts to post what he did if if Chris Kyle was still alive today. But his memory, along with everyone who's ever served our country, will never be forgotten, especially not for me. And like I said, I don't normally talk things other than sports, but just one thing that I have just... I think I'm more passionate about than anything else is just my my most profound respect for the United States military, its history. Since a young age, I mean, before I was even into sports, my first passion and love was just the history and just researching and reading and watching as much as I could on just this profound... I mean, because there's not another country in the... Or, our history or civilization and its human history who's ever come close to having as capable and as rich of a military tradition as we do. I mean, just look back at what we've done and what we've accomplished, just the bravery and the heroism we've showed, the commanders we've had. There's no one else who can duplicate it. I mean, you could just spend your life looking back at what we've done and what we continue to do in that forefront, and it's just amazing to me, but I just think today it's sad because we see more and more that people are turning against the military. It's still a minority which needs to stay that way, but I think just always remember that sometimes we have a responsibility when we're quiet about these things. The rational people have to come out there and dispel these horrible things that people like Michael Moore and Seth Rogen come out there and say because it's just not right. It's something that has to just go away right now because... We know what Chris Kyle is, and that's an American hero. The American sniper, he will never be forgotten. I can't wait to go see the movie. I want to read his book because, I mean, this is just an amazing individual. And just what he's, what he did, what he represented for this country is something that a lot of people will never come close to. Chris Kyle, though, is a, is a hero. He's up there in heaven now, and right now I just can't thank him him or anyone else who's ever served our country enough for what they could do and, and they will continue to do for us. So thank you. This is Jersey Joe and this is going to end it for this segment.